It's a known fact that having to replace golf cart batteries is extremely expensive. Every three to four years, a lead acid battery needs replacement usually due to the development of lead sulfate on the plates of the battery. Removing the sulfate buildup can allow for a battery to last up to 10 years. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Liquid Regen Kit, a unique battery desulfator that effectively repairs up to six lead acid batteries that have this problem. The battery we're going to use today is a six-year-old 12-volt deep cycle battery used for RVs. We had it tested at a local auto parts store and the results are as shown. This battery is well past due. The first thing we're going to do with this battery is we're going to remove the caps on the battery. I'm just going to use a small ledge to open this up. And that. The second thing we need to do is make sure that our battery is clean around these edges. I'm going to use a small damp piece of paper and wipe off all the dirt around these batteries. Be very careful not to get any dirt inside the cells of this battery. Now we need to look inside the batteries and check the level of the electrolyte in each cell. Using a flashlight, we can go ahead and look at the amount of electrolyte in each cell. There should be enough room to add the liquid regen solution. If there is not, use a small turkey baster or a syringe to remove a small amount of the liquid and decant it in a small container. Now we can go ahead and grab ourselves a bottle of liquid regen. We need to remove this cap and attach the easy pour spout to the top. This is a 12 volt lead acid battery, so we're going to need to add one ounce of liquid to each individual cell. I'm using a small scale off screen to make sure I'm adding exactly one ounce. Please note that for a standard 6 volt golf cart battery, you will need to add 2 ounces of liquid to each cell. If there is enough room in the cell to add more liquid, top off each cell with a small amount of either the electrolyte that you removed earlier or distilled water. Now we need to put the caps back onto the battery. and agitate the battery to mix the solution. This is very important as the liquid needs to mix thoroughly through the electrolyte of the battery to get in between the plates of the lead acid battery. Rocking the battery gently back and forth for a couple of minutes should thoroughly mix the solution. But if the battery is still in the golf cart, you might want to drive it around some rough terrain for a couple of minutes as an added method to mix the solution. Once our electrolyte is thoroughly mixed, we need to charge our battery with the lowest amperage setting you have on your battery charger. Or if it is available to you, a trickle charger. You should let your battery charge for about 24 hours. We are now back with our battery after 24 hours and we just had it tested again at an auto store. From the original 425 cold cranking amps our battery tested at, we are now at 691 cold cranking amps meaning that our six-year-old battery is showing 90% of its original charge capacity. This saved us over $120 for a replacement battery and can save you over $600 if you need to replace a battery bank for a golf cart. You can purchase the Liquid Regen Battery Refurbish Kit through the links in the description. We are devoted to helping you with your individual battery needs, so please message us with any questions you may have. Thank you for your time.